Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Never One Brand look, and this brand is Barry M. I've been hoarding a lot of Barry M products over the last month, so they've been in first impressions and my cohort get ready with me's. But I finally have enough products now to do a couple of full faces. I'm gonna do two looks. So one you'll see here today, obviously, and then I will upload the other one not very long after this one, hopefully, if all goes according to plan. <laughs> I would say overall, Barry M's pretty sound drugstore brand. I think that they do have a lot of good products. I will get into that more as I am testing, well, not testing. I will get into that more as we go through each thing. So I always start with my eyeshadow if I'm going to be doing eyeshadow, just because I tend to get fallout, so I don't want to do a full face of foundation and then have powder all over it. So to start, I'm going to go in with the Barry M Flawless Colour Correcting Wand. This is the yellow one that eradicates dark circles. It is for light to medium skin tones. That is what it looks like here. I quite like this. It's very, like, pale and obviously very yellow. Just do it on one eye and then kind of, like, show you um, it side by side with the non-covered one just to show you what the coverage is like because I think it's pretty good coverage. I don't think it's quite as good as the collection one that I really like, but I do think it's pretty good coverage, coverage wise. So there's your before and after. So you can definitely see how that has covered. Let me close my eyes. Definitely eradicated the purple veins a lot. So the only powder I have from Barry M is their Ready Set Smooth Loose Setting Powder. They have a banana one and then this one which is the translucent one. They do have um, a pressed powder that comes in a few shades but I just wasn't convinced that the light one would be light enough so I thought you can't go wrong with a translucent powder. I generally do prefer pressed ones just because they're less messy but honestly this is actually a pretty good powder. I do like it, it's just a bit of an inconvenience to use. I'm gonna get a bit of that on my Real Techniques setting brush. You kind of like have to shake it a bit to get the powder to come out. And I'm gonna set that concealer down. You know something I find really annoying? Um, when you just get all of your products for your Barry M video, and then they release a new eyeshadow palette and a new foundation, so I don't have those for this video and I kind of like the look of them so they had like a so they had this like really nice eyeshadow palette that they've just brought out which I would have actually quite liked to use in this video um, maybe I will get that at some point and then they also came out with um, a liquid foundation of the all night long foundation stick which I will try at some point but obviously not for these one brand looks um, but the eyeshadow palette I did get from Barry M is the Fall In Love eyeshadow palette which I did use in my last first impressions it is just some kind of warm toned matte a basic shades I'm going to be using that for some transition shades and I'm also going to be using one of the dazzle dusts this is 22 it's the vibrant blue one and I'm also going to use the holographic eyeshadow topper this one is in supernova but I'm going to start with some transition shades we're going to start with this light brown, kind of a grey toned brown colour up here. I'm going to start with this one for the crease. I'm now going to go in with a bit of this darker, warm, reddish brown colour here. And I'm just going to work a bit of this for the crease as well. Go in with the dark greyish brown colour up here and I'm going to focus this on the outer third of the eye. We are going to do a cut crease shortly. Right, I'm going to go in with the white shade here just to go under my brow bone. Now I'm going to go back in with the yellow colour corrector. And I'm going to get a little brush and I'm going to try and cut my crease. I think I'll just do one eye at a time. I'm now going to go in with a bit of the Barry M Glitter Fixer Gel. Um, you don't necessarily need these with the um, Dazzle Dust, but I think I'm just going to use a little bit just to be safe. Just over where I've put that concealer. I don't want too much. 
just to give it something more to grab onto. But the Dazzle Dust isn't really like loose glitter, it's more just like a loose eyeshadow pigment, so it kind of works without glue. So I'm going in with the Blue Dazzle Dust 22, I think the colour was. And I'm just getting a little brush and I'm going to use this to coat my whole lid. This is very pigmented and vibrant, I really like it. Look how pretty it is, it's so vibrant. I kinda wanna get some more of these Dazzle Dust, they're so beautiful. And I'm gonna go in with the Holographic Eyeshadow Topper in Supernova. It's kinda like a greeny, iridescent color with lots of kind of other color flecks in it. And I'm gonna layer up quite a lot of this just in the kind of main center. Right, I am now going to try and repeat the process on the other eye. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in black, this one here. And I'm going to fill in my top and bottom water lines. I quite like that eye pencil, I think it does the job and I just sharpened it now and I didn't have any issues with sharpening. Sometimes I find with like more cheaper eyeliners you'll sharpen them and they'll like go all dodgy and the pen will like fuck up um but that one seemed to be fine so i have a free mascara products from barry m um first of all i've got that lash saver volumizing growth accelerating lash primer and as for like regular mascaras i got their feature length mascara this one here and i got the that's how i roll mascara as well in the past, I think I have tried the Lash Vegas one. Um, it used to be like a pink tube, but I think they like re-released it recently with a different formula. So it would be interesting to see if that one is any different because I actually remember really liking the old one. Um, as for these mascaras, I would definitely say I prefer the feature length one. I think this one has more impact. I've used the That's How I Roll one a couple of times now. and. It's just, it's just not doing it for me. It's not giving me the volume that I look for. I do actually think that the lash primer does make a difference though. So I'm probably just gonna use all of these and just build up a load of mascara to get a look here. So I'll start with the Lash Saver Primer. Yeah, I definitely do think this does add a little bit of extra oomph to your, um, the mascara that you then go on the top of it with. If it actually accelerates lash growth. I have no idea about that. I've only used this a few times, so. I'm gonna go in with the um, feature length first and then I'll just add a little bit of the that's how I roll just to see if I can get any extra oomph. But yeah, this um, feature length one, like, it's okay. It's, it does give you a little something. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but like it does kind of instantly get there. But it's just not my favourite mascara ever, but it's not too bad. I think the Lush Primer just really gives it something to like cling on to. But that's just one eye there, so I mean it has given me something, it's just not my favourite lash look. But let's continue on the other eye. So I don't have a primer from Barry M. I wouldn't mind trying their Glowmance one. That one's got some good reviews, but um, I haven't got any for this video. Um, so I'm gonna go straight into foundation. So I have got two foundations from them. I've got the Flawless Matte Finish one and I've got the foundation stick. And as I mentioned earlier, they did just bring out a, another liquid foundation that's apparently meant to be full coverage. So I will try that one at some point because I want to see. Um, I'm going to use the Flawless Matte Finish one for this video. This one is in the shade Porcelain, I believe. Yes, it's in Porcelain. It's not quite light enough for me, so I am going to have to cheat a little bit and just use a tiny bit of my Nip and Fab White Mixer, just so that we're not completely off colour. I quite like this foundation. It's definitely more on the light coverage side. You can build it up to kind of a low medium. It's got quite a nice finish though. It's not patchy, it's not clingy. Lasts reasonably well. I like this foundation, but if you're looking for something with a lot of coverage, it won't be the one for you. But for those more light days, I like it. 
Okay, so that's the colour we've got going on here. So I'm just going to layer a load of this up on my face. So I've just now realised that I think I was going to use the colour correctors, but it's too late now, so we will use the colour correctors <laughs> in the other video. I knew I was forgetting something. concealer I'm going to go in with the all night long full coverage concealer in the shade 1 milk and I do actually really like this concealer it's got really good coverage and it's also a very pale color I think I've already gone through a lot of this I'm just going to put a bit, a bit of this under my eyes and on any blemishes on my face and a bit on my nose And again, I've got the Ready Set Smooth Loose Setting Powder to set my face. I actually don't mind this in terms of finish. Again, I don't really like loose powders because they're a bit of a mess to use, but I do like the effect of it. So I'm not going to bake or anything like that. I'm just going to set my face the standard way. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Afterglow Light Bronzer, this one here. That's what it looks like. It is a little bit reddish in tone. It's not the perfect shade for my, like, really fair skin, obviously, but with a, bit of, with a bit of blending, it's not too bad. It has got quite a nice glow to it. It's definitely not a bad bronzer at all. Just maybe suited for a different skin tone than me, but we'll make it work. So I'm just popping a bit of this, usual places, cheap blows and a bit of my forehead. Go into the illuminating highlighter palette and I'm going to use a little bit of the more bronzy shade at the end just to go over that bronzer, give it a bit more glow. I mean it's already pretty glowy enough as it is but why not add a bit more? So I don't have a blush from Barry M, so we'll just go straight in with some highlighter. Sticking with the same illuminating highlighter palette, I'm going to go in with the lightest shade at the end. This is a more white toned one. And this is actually a pretty nice highlighter. I do actually really like it. It has got some lovely pigmentation. I'm now just gonna get off my foundation lips. I'm just gonna quickly brush through my brows with clear gel, I don't have a Barry M one. So I've got two eyebrow products from Barry M. I've got a pencil, this is the Brow Wow pencil and brush in medium dark, looks like this. And then I've also got that Take A Brow Shape and Define Brow Gel in the, the shade brown. And I actually quite like both of these. So I'm going to start with the pencil and just fill in my brows. That's what they look like filled in with the pencil not too bad but i am going to go in with the gel just to set them into place i'm going to mix the dark brown with the reddish brown up here and just smudge a bit of these on my lower lash line area go back into the highlighting palette and use the same highlighter I used on my face in my inner corner and a bit under my brow bone. So I'm going to go back in with the lash primer and the feature length of mascara on my bottom lashes. And of course, I got a huge blob of mascara there. So to finish off, I'm going to use one of the lip kits. Um, so I've got the Matte Me Up Matte Liquid Lip Paint. I believe the colour is so chic. It's literally like a chocolatey brown colour. It's really pretty. And then it comes with a matching lip liner. So I'm going to use both of these together. Oh, 
that's what the lip pencil looks like on its own very pigmented of course we're gonna go in with the liquid lip as well I really like this liquid lipstick it's just so opaque it's not patchy in the slightest incredibly pigmented and it's gorgeous so I'm just gonna go ahead, clean it up, and sort my hair out, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is my finished full face of Barry M, and I think it turned out pretty good. There is a patch here from the mascara smudge, but let's just pretend that doesn't exist. Um, but other than that, I'm quite happy with how the eyes turn now. I really like these lips, and I think my base looks pretty good too. So I definitely think that this is a brand, Barry M, that you can definitely get a decent look out of. But thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!